Audi ZA 837 family of V6 engines is a fascinating study in how one basic design can evolve through four generations to match ever tighter emissions rules, rising power targets and changing customer tastes. Debuting in 2004 and serving everything from the compact A4 to the full-size Q7, these 90-degree six cylinders moved from port injection to direct injection, adopted supercharging, then switched to dual injection, before finally giving way to the newer EA 839 series. If you're an Audi fan or simply love engine tech, here's the full story. Audi launched the EA837 to replace the EA835 series, retaining an all-aluminum 90-degree block but dropping cylinder liners in favour of an Alisil bore finish. From the start, the architecture featured two aluminum DOHC heads with roller followers, hydraulic lifters and an intricate rear-mounted timing set, four chains, two idler gears and a balance shaft. That packaging choice saved engine length, but doomed mechanics to remove the power plant for major timing work, an engineering quirk that would stay with the family for years. First generation engines arrived in two flavors, the 2.4 MPI using port fuel injection and the 3.2 FSI with Audi's early high pressure direct injection. Both shared the elaborate twin flap intake manifold that optimized airflow across the rev range. While smooth and refined, Gen 1 was criticised for expensive timing chain service and carbon build-up on the direct injection 3.2 FSI. Audi's second generation tackled those complaints with stronger trioval sprockets, quieter roller-style chains and beefier tensioners. Engineers added the two-stage ABS Audi valve lift system on the intake side, a dual-mode oil pump and roller-follower high-pressure fuel pumps. All Gen 2 motors, 2.8 FSI and a larger 3.2 FSI, switched to full FSI direct injection, delivering crisper throttle response and modest efficiency gains while largely taming the timing chain rattle that plagued early units. For the 2008 A6 facelift Audi ripped out AVS and added an Eaton TVS supercharger with an integrated charge cooler, berthing the celebrated 3.0 TFSI. To handle boost, the block, heads and timing gear were redesigned for extra rigidity, yet the engine stayed compact enough to fit A4 models. Peak torque arrived just above idle, transforming mid-size Audis into effortless cruisers. Electronic control moved to Siemens CMOS 8, fed by a Hitachi HDP3 high-pressure pump. The final iteration kept the supercharger but introduced dual combined injection. A second set of manifold injectors joined the FSI system to lower particulates and curb valve stem carbon. Compression nudged from 10.5 to 1 to 10.8 to 1, an electromagnetic clutch let the blower freewheel at light load, and cast iron cylinder liners replaced Alusil to improve wear resistance. Exhaust cam phasers returned, giving the 3.0 TFSI Evo sharper low-end torque and cleaner emissions without sacrificing peak power. Audi also built two hybrid derivatives, CGA and CGFA, for the Touareg hybrid. These paired the Gen 3 3.0 TFSI with an electric motor sandwiched between engine and gearbox, proving the block could play nicely in an electrified drivetrain long before plug-in hybrids became mainstream. By 2016, the newly developed EA839 Turbo V6 began replacing EA837 units model by model, offering simpler single turbo packaging, revised 90 degree architecture and even higher efficiency. The last mainstream application of the EA837 disappeared with the Q7 update in 2020, closing a 16 year chapter of Audi V6 history. Across four generations, the EA837 evolved from a naturally aspirated port-injected V6 into a dual-injected supercharged powerhouse, gaining nearly 40% more torque, slashing emissions and setting the benchmark for smoothness in its class. 
Yes, its rear-mounted timing chains and intricate intake hardware can make ownership costly, but for many enthusiasts, the soundtrack, instantaneous torque and technical sophistication more than compensate. If you're shopping for an Audi or just love engine engineering, the EA837 family remains a milestone in modern V6 design.